Alrighty. So now we're gonna do the tiles, except we're not doing the typical sheetrock insulation, um, tile by tile type of job. We're gonna try this new next tile um, as pre-assembled walls. It's a four-piece system. Goes right onto the two by fours and yeah, it's the new hot thing. Um, read great, great reviews about it, so I wanted to try it out. So let's give it a dry fit. First, we're going to do a dry fit for the back wall. Once this is installed, we're going to silicone all this. So now I'm going to get the other piece, see how this looks. I'm going to put a couple of screws on the side to hold this in for now. Two person job will be a lot easier. Cool. Got a little shelf here. I believe that was like 350 on Amazon from uh, Home Depot. This has to snap in. Oh, we're just testing out the right right now. Um, let me grab the sidewall and see how that lines up. Just to show you guys what the back looks like. It is really heavy, tough, heavy duty plastic, so I can see how that's gonna stop moisture and mold and uh, yeah, snaps right in. So that's the idea of it. We're gonna have to put some extra beans back there. As since we took out the sheetrock, it is a little thinner. Maybe we'll even throw a sheet right back there. So I'm gonna figure that out. How much space do I need? And then let's try this wall. So obviously for this wall, we cannot put it on yet because we have to measure out the holes um, and drill them so we can uh, make um, space for these guys. Um, when you measure, measure from this wall to, to the middle of the pipe, measure from the type, uh, from the top to the middle of the pipe, same with this, from the wall, where, this, where the wall is going to go against, and then from the top to the middle, cut the necessary size hole, and we should have a perfect fit. So we'll give that a try and see how it fits. Alright, we measured out the holes for the faucet and for the control knob. Now we're going to drill them out and hopefully it all fits. First I'm going to pre-drill the holes. Just to have a nice guide hole. This is probably quarter inch thick plastic or whatever composite is made from, so it's definitely tough. This is actually from my um, door uh, install kit for the locks, so hopefully these will cut nicely. Clean cut. That's 
Let's install this guy. So I see the problem. Let me show you guys this. There's really no videos on how to install these. Probably gonna have to at least remove this piece here so we can work with this right here. That's the problem. Because it's a perfect height space, I can't get that to go in there. I need a flat against the wall connection. So we will try that. See if we can get this in now. Another thing is, you want to make sure everything's level, otherwise, it will not fit. So you gotta lift it up by about an inch above and then you drop it down. Watch it against. There we go. Alright, we're snapped in now. I'm gonna have to trim this off. It said 30 inches and that's exactly what I had and they don't mention this part, but I'll make it flush with the wall. Um, we're a little off here, so I'm gonna have to adjust that. Shouldn't be a big deal as we have a big cover for it. But this one looks good. Now we just have to slow down. Why is there such a height difference here? So we just have to adjust the bathtub again. All right, guys, welcome back. So we re-leveled our tub to make sure the walls line up. We did the dry fit already test. Now we're actually gonna install them. So we're gonna have to drill one eighth inch holes for each one of the studs to connect the bottom piece. Uh, you're gonna need your drill. You're gonna need um, number eight times uh, pen head Phillips uh, screws, number eight, one and three quarters they recommend. I only found one and a half inch, which will be plenty for this kind of setup. Um, so let's drill the holes. They say to use shims if this is not level. Uh, we already leveled this up over here and we are perfect right now. We also can level, um, don't do it here as this is angled. You do it on the inside edge here and make sure that's the plumbing level as well. So we're all good with that part. Let's draw holes. Pulled it away from the studs. So I'm not drilling into the stub. I want the screw to securely grab that. 
gonna start with a drill, impact drill, but then I'm gonna finish it up with a screwdriver so I don't crack anything. Make sure it's level again just to be safe. We don't want to take this apart again. Now let's do the next one. And there's little holes here uh, to help you with the starting of the gun. It's pretty cool. not plastic it's like a plastic com composite I believe fiberglass glass lined as well uh, when I was drawing the holes for the shower heads uh, it's really tough stuff so this should hold up really nice and will hold out the moisture definitely um, gotta get the corners section installed and now let's get the top. Get this stuff out of the way so don't knock something down on our new tub. So here we have tabs. These tabs are for the sidewalls. You've got to make sure everything snaps in. Um, the bottom portion here Make sure this will be nice and flush against the bottom piece. So let's line this up. You want to make sure the little tabs snap in a little as well behind it. you hear that? Nice and clean finish here. Let's level this. Still perfect. That's always a good sign. So now we're gonna bolt this guy up as well. Let me check up there. So over here we're gonna need some shims. Here we're gonna need some shims as there is space in here. It's not spacing. It's a screw I left from holding it from the dry fit. So we're gonna pop that out really quick. This you mess up, it snaps right back in. It does not take long. There we go. Let's 
let's level it. Perfect. Okay. Yep, now we got a clean finish, so let's screw those in. Get some pilot holes. Done. Now let's do the sides. Let me show you guys how it looks up here. All nice and flush. So here is the tabs that we're gonna snap the um, side walls. Up here as well. One on the bottom, right there. So it's the same setup on both sides. So we want to make sure we get in right in there. All right. So we're gonna get the sidewall. I popped off the faucet, so we have more space to work with here. This one's pre-drilled, based on our original dry template. Hopefully, it's still gonna fit. So we're gonna lift this up about an inch and a half so you can lock those tabs in and then we're gonna push it back down, push it in and down to snap it in. see we're a little up here um, the dry fit was a little different it's not a big deal they actually tell you to cut a bigger hole I didn't want to I wanted to keep it as clean as possible so I'm just gonna trim this up with a Dremel and then we'll be all set taking a 2x4 I'm not taking the wall out I'm gonna wedge it here just to give me some space so it's away from the faucet I don't want to damage that I'm gonna put a piece of cardboard behind there to uh, protect it as well Turn this up nice and clean.
perfect. The bottom aligns nicely. Let me show you guys. So, hub, nice and clean connection all the way into the wall. Remember that. Here. Yes, the direction set 30 inch. Well, this is exactly 30 inches from start to the edge. And as you see, we have this tab here that normally gets covered with sheetrock. Well, this is gonna be custom for me. I'm gonna cut this off, put fresh sheetrock here, do a nice clean connection, and we should be just fine. Right now, as you see, we have nice, clean, level edges on the bottom. We're gonna caulk that. It's gonna be completely waterproof. Our uh, bathtub spout is going in there. Here's the rest. So now we got this wall left and that will be the next tile assembly. And same idea with this side. tabs one two three push it all the way against the wall snap it in push it down and that's it Looser fit than the other side, so that would have smoothly. I'm just gonna make sure everything's level. <laughs> yeah, still perfect. Great feeling. Um, is it funny how I smile when I say that? Um, I added the extra beam here as we needed to mount this, and then let's do some pilot holes and connect the rest. And that's what we did for the next tile installation. We're gonna caulk it, which I'll show you guys probably as well. Maybe we'll do some tiling back here, which is really cool. Use an adhesive, not cement. And you can put any actual real tiles in here to match your floor. Uh, definitely gonna do that. I wanna give it a nice clean look. Um, so hopefully this is helpful for you guys. Any questions, comments, let me know. Um, I'll be happy to answer. Uh, this was a really easy install and I'm glad to be helping you guys out do the same. Uh, please give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe. I have a lot more coming on this renovation and other projects. Thanks for watching.